really a bit more. So today I'm going to talk uh, down through the, the 10 ways that uh, intuition has helped me the most in my life. I thought that this uh, might either be interesting or helpful, hopefully both. Okay, so number 10, it's actually helped me avoid a lot of problems. Uh, when your intuition is working really well, it enables you to avoid problems before you really come into it because you, you can feel you know, in your soul seat, as I talk about in my book, The Soul's Brain, uh, you know, we, you know, it enables you to avoid those problems because you can feel the contraction, you can feel the, the resistance of your intuition saying, so your system doesn't go in that, want to go in that direction. And sometimes it's only after the fact that you realize that, yeah, that helped me avoid a big problem. So that's number 10. Number, number nine is that it's helped me become uh, increasingly efficient in my own personal life and with my own personal energy. Because uh, my intuition is, it's much better at picking the path that will work. It also helps me align so much more of my energies in a way that really works for me. So because of that, it has all of those internal synergies that you start to have happening. And as you extend that internal alignment into external alignment, it starts to create more efficiencies externally as well. So I'm, I waste a lot less time and um, I also, you know, and other resources. So yeah, it helps me be more efficient, which helps me create more and more of what I want and build up momentum, which, you know, is cool. So then number eight, um, uh, obviously, well, I say obviously, but it is one of the more commonly recognized forms of intuition is empathy. So being able to have your empathy for others increase means that you're able to obviously not just understand what's going on for them, but you can in, be through empathy, develop the capacity to co-create, to do things together. And in other words, empathy is one of the doorways that through which you can start to create more synergies in your life. And uh, that just enables so much more expansion for yourself and for others. And there's a, there's a lot of joy in that as well. So that's increased empathy. Then we've got number number seven. Uh, which is creativity, of course. So your intuition and your creativity, but they're both kind of different expressions of who you really are. So it helps you both express who you really are and realize who you really are. So it, it goes in a cycle. You express who you really are, that teaches you something about yourself, and then you can express even more of who you really are. But this means that you start to live your life more and more from this very creative place, which means that you're then able to co-create with others more. You know, it, again, you can build momentum in this way. So that's, that's kind of brilliant. So uh, the sixth way it's helped me is uh, guiding my own personal healing. I mean, I've, I've been, you can read about it more if you're really interested in my book, The Soul's Brain, but you know, when I was in my early 20s, I was really very unwell. It wasn't really a problem that a lot of the doctors seemed to be able to help me with. In the end, it was really me opening my intuition back up again um, when in my at that time and really learning to lean into it that eventually helped me figure out everything that I needed to do to get my health back and to, to realise, you know, increased levels of well-being. So, um, so yes guided self-healing. So number five. So number five is a little bit similar to empathy, except that it isn't, uh, it's not just about, you know, really getting other people's and appreciating other people's uh, realities so that you, you're in life, life is enriched by theirs and you can have these synergies going on, but really just being able to understand other people's realities that's really important for your own for your own growth and your own goals because whatever your goals are today if you if you can't just decide okay i want that and have it happen it means there's something about that goal that is currently either beyond your reach or even beyond your reality 
and you can probably figure out how to do it eventually yourself, but that's going to take a long time. Whereas when we can use our intuition to lean into other people's realities or to realities that aren't currently ours, well, our intuition can guide us towards which ones are really going to be the most use for us and so that we can figure out which ones are not going to lead us down some kind of you know, social media rabbit hole or whatever, but are really going to add to our own lives. So it can really help us guide our own path through strange realities in that way. Uh, you know, fourth, the fourth way is um, physical health. Now, I mentioned before about guiding self-healing, that this is sort of like the positive side of, of it. It's increased well-being. Because uh, well-being is more than just letting go of whatever issues are going on. Increased well-being is actually about finding the things that increase the strength in your own system that in allow you to be more robust. So, you know, I mean, my my digestion is, is always been problematic, but so when I can lean into my intuition, it can tell me when my system really needs certain things in order to keep my, my system actually robust rather than my digestion, you know, ah, going on the fritz. So that's, that's a really good thing to do. All right, and then the third way my intuition really helps me is, you know, self-awareness. So, yeah, you know, you've got your self-awareness that helps you with your health, but then it's all sorts of self-awareness, like the awareness about the stuff that makes you happy. I mean, the number of times I've talked to clients and I've asked them, well, what gives you joy? What makes you happy? And they go, I don't know, which, you know, is a bit sad. Um, but your intuition is something that really helps you grow your self-awareness. And so therefore, you know those kind of things. You know what makes you happy. You know what doesn't work for you. Uh, you know, and you know these things spiritually or energetically, you know, mentally, emotionally and physically and in your relationships. And because of that, you have this really strong, clear foundation of self-awareness that you can then use to develop, you know, further things. The second way, of course, that um, intuition has really helped me is getting my book published. So um, it was my intuition that told me where and when to go uh, for the, the Hay House workshop through which I got the contract for the book. Um, yeah, so and then of course, it all did fall into place. Like I, my intuition said, I, you know, because I'd, I'd been aware of their workshops for a while. I decided that I wanted to go and do the workshop in Hawaii because, you know, of course, why not? You know, <laughs> tax deductible holiday, if nothing else. Um, and then uh, when I was aware of it, it's like I, I went, oh, well, should I go now? My intuition went, no. Nah. And then the next year I went, oh, maybe I should go now. I was like, no. Nah. And about the third year, it's like, yeah, go now. You know, and of course, I, you know, looking back on it now, I mean, I can see that because I had been practicing my writing, my writing had got better. So, but I'm sure it was more than just about my writing. It was, you know, that time, it was time for the book to get published. So leaning into your intuition can definitely lead to some opportunities that you might want. And the number one way that my intuition has, you know, helped me in my life is, at, is of course, in developing the fractology the principles of which I've written about in my book. So developing fractology, you know, of course, whenever you're developing a system that, that hasn't existed before, you're probably going to have to pull things from a number of different areas in order to create the synergy that you need for your new system. And so that's what my intuition did. Like I knew that I was trying to develop something. I still I wasn't really entirely sure what, um, but I just followed my intuition. I went to art school. I did some, you know, breathwork training. I did some biofeedback counselling. Uh, I I did all sorts of different things. Of course, my first degree is in veterinary medicine. I did, you know, on one point level, I wasn't really sure I knew what I was doing. I was just following my intuition, and I was starting to think, oh gosh, I don't know if this is ever going to work. 
But then of course it all came together and I realized that actually I needed bits and pieces out of all of those things that I had done to create fractology. So, and I, I guess for me that's really nice because it means that, well, my intuition always knew what I needed to do. And so the more I lean into and trust my intuition, yeah, it leads me in good directions as your intuition would do for you. And just as for me, developing the fractology was brilliant. When you trust your intuition, it will help you be brilliant too.